What is up guys, James here from the Light of Raga YouTube channel and in this video we're going to be doing a reading for all my Scorpio sun sign friends. If you're born between the dates of October 23rd and November 21st then you are a Scorpio sun sign and this reading is for you. Today's video we're going to be doing a three card reading that's going to look at the energy surrounding love, money, and spirituality. We're going to be using the Nature's Whispers Oracle for love we're going to be using the earth magic oracle for money and we're going to be using the keepers of the light oracle for spirituality so this is going to be an oracle style reading and it's going to be a three card reading and it's going to give you insights into those three sections of your life so that you can move forward with the best possible way okay so if you would please give me a moment to center myself and ask the oracle cards the question well, actually there's three questions the first question is what message do you have for scorpio sun sign friends concerning love at this time All right, the next question we're gonna ask is what message do you have for Scorpio sun signs concerning money at this time? And lastly, what message do you have for Scorpio sun sign friends concerning spirituality at this time? All right, what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at these cards individually and then go back and look at them as a whole. So first we're gonna focus on the message that the cards have for you concerning love at this time. And we've got amplify your positive emotions. Uh, just quickly, you know, when I say love relationships, I don't just mean your close romantic relationships. This could be any of those love relationships that you have that are based in love that uh, are, you know, the people closest to you in your life. And we've got amplify your positive emotions. This card came up in the weekly reading uh, this week, and uh, it's interesting that it would come up again. Uh, I think this card is asking you to... I'm getting a different message, though. Um, this card is asking you, what, in your love relationships, to realize that everything you do, say, feel, think, everything that you do in that relationship has an effect on the other person. And you have to realize that, you know, even if it, if it doesn't seem like something that's big to you, it does affect the other person in some way. You know, sometimes the things that are, you know, minuscule to you are huge for someone else and vice versa. So uh, this card is saying to make sure that everything you do sends out ripples of love in the relationship. Everything that you do is from a base of love so that you can amplify those positive emotions rather than the, ne than the negative ones. And uh, this card is asking me to tell you to be more aware of the things that you're doing, saying, thinking, feeling in the relationship because they do have an effect. So be more aware aware of them first and then if you know you, you you feel that you're doing something that's not based in love it's time to fix that it's time to get rid of that it's time to change that so that it is coming from a place of positivity because like i said everything you do is an effect everything and um you know, you, you want to make sure that the ripples that you're sending out are love ripples, not hate ripples, not fear ripples, not uh, anger or sadness ripples. They're ripples of, you know, pure light. And, uh, you know, that's, uh, that's a good message, okay? So send out positivity in your love relationships, and you're going to see your relationships improve, you know? Once uh, a person feels the love ripples coming their way, they, they like to send back the love ripples. And if you can continually do that, it just grows and grows and grows. And, um, you know, if it's pure, then it's just, there's no telling how far it can go or how, fa or how powerful it can become. Uh, but when you, you know, when those ripples aren't filled with love, then you get the negative effect. And we don't want that, Scorpio friends. So... All right, that is your love card. Next, we're going to look at uh, the message that the cards have for you concerning money at this time, Scorpio friends. And we've got wind activation. I'm getting the feeling that it's time for action here. Uh, you know, the wind is... It brings change. It, it initiates things. It ends things. But it, it's all about change. And and uh, when I see this card right now, I get the feeling that now is the time to put those intentions that you have into motion. Start doing the the work behind the intention. It's not good enough just to set an intention. That's probably the most important part is setting the intent. 
but the action has to follow the intent in order for progress to be made so this card is asking you to blow your wind blow your activation you know start putting in the work that's going to you know bring that intent to you so uh you know if this is like a good idea that you want to share at work or um you know a new job or you know putting a different kind of energy or more energy into your creative passions in order to get paid for them um now is the time to just activate those intentions. We all have intentions, right? We all, you know, want something when it comes to money. And in order to get it, we have to work for it. And um, I'm not saying you should work hard. Don't work harder. Work smarter, right? Um, but really put some force behind those intentions so that the universe can help you to bring that to you. Uh, you know, it's... It's, it's three parts. It's you setting the intention, you putting the work, and the, and the universe saying, yes, that's what he or she wants. I'm going to give it to him or her, right? So uh, you need to do those first two parts in order for the universe to do its part. And uh, the wind is activating things. It's getting things going. So put those ideas into motion right now. Now is the time. And uh, I think you're going to see some, some payback from that. All right, now let's move on to spirituality. And we asked the Keepers of the Light Oracle what message it had for you concerning spirituality at this time. And we've got Commander, Commander Ashtar, call to action. Take charge, lead by example, walk your talk. Definitely seeing a theme here. Um, okay, call to, I mean, it's, it's self-explanatory. It's a call to action, my friend. So, you know, we're all in different levels of spiritual development. We're all, you know, all over the place. Some of us are extremely advanced. Others are just getting started as far as opening up to the realms of spirit. Uh, but whatever stage you're at right now, uh, the, the, the card or spirit is calling you to action here. It's time to uh, take what you've learned and put it into practice. Uh, yes, it's great to meditate and get all these understandings. And, and, and learn so much about the universe. But at some point, you gotta ground that into reality. You just gotta ground it so that uh, it can help both yourself and other people. And this means taking that knowledge that you've learned and applying it in a, in a real way to your life. Uh, I don't like to give examples with this since we're all at, like I said, different levels of spiritual uh, evolution, but you know, Let's say you've just learned that all is one, uh, that everything is connected and we're all different aspects of source. And uh, you go about your life thinking that, oh, you know, I don't like those North Koreans, right? Those North Koreans are bad things, bad people. That is not the oneness, all right? That is not applying what you've learned. You have to love the North Koreans because they are an aspect of you. And so that's the, just an example of grounding what you've learned into your daily practice of life. Uh, if you need help with this, some crystals would be great to have. Aragonite would be great. Um, uh, black tourmaline. Any of the grounding crystals, right? Uh, malachite, I think, would help. You know, what, what grounding crystals do you really like? Smoky quartz, new mites, all those things, all those things. Uh, won't go into grounding crystals right now, but th that's uh, something that can definitely help you to bring that knowledge to the, the world around you so that you can really help people. So as far as an overall theme here, I'm getting the sense that it's time to act, my friends. It's time to like be uh, more responsible for your actions. Send out positive ripples every chance you possibly can with your love relationships. Take the actions that are going to uh, be positive and help your partner and help you, you as a group, as a, a unit, uh, rather than, you know, fear, anger, um, frustration, not understanding the other person. We need empathy, guys. Empathy is what we need here and send out ripples that are based on empathy for, for your partner or for whoever you love. Um, as far as money, it's time to go out there and just do the things that you need to do. This doesn't mean, you know, work harder necessarily, but it means work on your intentions. Set those intentions into motion. Activate them with your breath, with your energy, and uh, send them out into the universe so that uh, the universe has something to work with, right? And uh, as far as spirituality, it's time to speak your truth. It's time to ground that information that you've been learning in the, through the spiritual realms and, and put it into Earth so that you can help this Earth heal. Help yourself, help others, help the planet heal. And bring down that high level uh, energy and light and bring it down into Earth. 
Um, so yes, definitely. The, the call to action is here, Scorpio friends. It's time to get involved. It's time to get busy in all three of these aspects. No more sitting on the sidelines waiting for things to happen. Let's go out there and get it. All right, that is the general mid-month reading for September. I hope you guys got something out of that. Remember, this is a general reading, and not everything's going to apply to everybody. But if you want a specific reading tailored just for you, then head on over to my Etsy shop. I'll put a link in the description below and in the card. You can just click on that, and it'll take you over there. You can see all the different readings that I offer, uh, anything from the mundane to the disastrous. I can help you with any problem that you may have. Uh, if you want to tap into your energies or the energies of someone else, or if you have trouble making a decision, or you want to, you know get a status report on your relationship anything you want to do i'm here to help uh so click on that and go over there if you like this video please consider giving it a like it lets me know that i did something right that you enjoyed it that you want to see more and uh it really i really do appreciate it so if you do enjoy this video please click on the like below uh, if you have any questions comments concerns queries anything you want to say about this video put those in the comment section below as well i love to hear what you guys have to say about these readings and if you really enjoyed this video please consider subscribing i release these videos bi-monthly these terascope videos and i also uh you know have weekly readings and i sprinkle a bunch of videos in between you don't want to miss out on those so click on the subscribe button to catch up on all of that all right guys scorpio friends it's time to go out there and put in some work okay all right if you do, everything will be just great. <laughs> Leave a like if you enjoyed this. Happy tarotting. Peace.